you need a rubber spatula, a spoon, uh, not a spoon, you need a rubber spatula and a big bowl. There's the flower. It's snowy. It is. We're getting a little flurry. See you going out the house. Hi, yo. Hi, yo. Hi, yo. Tyler's dishing out breakfast. Good morning, everybody. So I picked up the camera because I wanted to show you. We got McDonald's for breakfast. That's not what I wanted to show you though. I wanted to show you, my goodness, the beautiful order came in. I'm so excited. So I ordered um, one of the levels ahead for Aspen because um, they're discontinuing it and I already have everything and I thought there was no sense in buying it again because I already, I like the current level that they had made. So I ordered his next level that he's gonna need, just the workbook because I have all the readers um, that go with it. So I was like, you know what? When they said they were gonna discontinue it, I think it cost me like $14 to buy the book um, for him, where for me to get the whole new level would have been like, I think close to 70 plus shipping, tax, stuff like that. So it would have been well over $70. And I was like, there's no sense and spending that kind of money, so I just ordered it. I did the same thing with Zane's because he was getting ready to move up a level and they weren't sure when they were gonna come out with the next level that he would need. Good morning. I got burritos. <laughs> yeah, they weren't sure when they were gonna come out with the next level that he would need and I didn't want him to be stuck not being able to move up a level when he was ready to, so. Braxton, I always keep an eye on it. Braxton, Zane, and Aspen? Yes. Skylar's trying to dish out food and figure out whose Braxton is what. Okay. Or no, Braxton and Zane. You've got Aspen. Aspen. Carolyn, your you get your burritos? Yeah. Those are yours, and I've got a Mick griddle. Okay, so I will put this stuff away and start getting waking kids up who aren't up yet. Aspen's excited because we have something fun we're doing today. For science, he has to create a human cell, and so we had different ways that we could do it. He's baking a cake and then frosting it to look like a human cell, so... So he's getting a little bit of home ec and science all in one. What's wrong, babe? I never got to bake a cake and decorate. <laughs> Dylan's like, I didn't get to bake a cake for science and decorate it. <laughs> all right, we're going to eat some breakfast and then continue on our day. Maybe bake a cake here. Do the best you can. The sound. A. Mm. F. T. H. So what are you doing for part of your school today? <laughs> thank you cards. Yeah, you're writing thank you cards for your birthday, huh? Is for your birthday presents. A G after. No. Mm, mm. Do I put a K? Mm -hmm. Aspen and I are getting ready to bake a cake for his science class, so he had a couple of things that he could do, but he had to um, create a human cell. Where are you at? You're down there. Anyway, he had to create a human cell, and so we opted to do, uh, we're gonna bake a cake, so we're gonna start today, and then we're gonna go ahead and frost it tomorrow, and he has to frost it all the parts of a human cell. It should be pretty fun for him and a cool way for him to learn about human cells, which is what we've been studying in his biology class. So we're gonna make a devil's food cake today. We're gonna let it cool. And then tomorrow we're gonna make the frosting and frosting. You need, um, you need a rubber spatula, a spoon, uh, not a spoon. You need a rubber spatula and a big bowl. Go ahead and set that here. Now I want you to read the box. You'll see, it tells us everything we're gonna need. Do you have, Do you have, don't get on here yet, because you're gonna have to run and grab some more things. Um, do you have a measuring cup? No. Better grab one of them. Get a liquid measuring cup. You're gonna want the liquid one. Which one? The glass ones with the handle. Okay, so you're gonna read the cake mix. See, it tells you all your ingredients you're gonna need up here. What's number one say? The oven to 350 cold bottom of pan with no Okay, so first thing, what do we need to do? Set oven to what? 350. All right, let's go preheat the oven to 350 degrees. 
Step two, beat cake mix, water, oil, and eggs in bowl with No, we're not on step two yet. We only did the first oh. part of step one. So what's Cold it? bottom of pan with no stiff cooking spray or... You're gonna need two pans. We're gonna actually make two round cakes and stack them together. Yes. Mm-hmm. Come on over here. Do the first one. Not too much. So let me show you on this one, and then you can do it on yours. Well, Ready? You are going to watch. So one of the easier ways is to hold it up and then watch me. You shake it once, and then you just watch along the sides. Now you do yours. Hold it up. There you go. See how much easier that is? And then coat your sides because you don't want your cake to stick. Okay. Now, I'll be right back. You okay? Did you get it in your eyes for real? Yeah. Careful. It sprayed. Now, I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. We need to dump a little of that. No, you don't. Leave it there. Put some flour in it. Yeah, we're going to coat it with some flour. Ready? I don't have to You don't have my sleeves, face. I do. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little in my hand. I'm going to do it on my And I'm going to sprinkle. And I'm going to try to sprinkle the sides a little bit. But watch now. Now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna try to dust it. Look it, I'm turning it and dusting it and then I'm gonna get it on the sides a little. See this? Mm -hmm. See how, look it, see how I'm taking it down the sides? There. And then I'm just gonna dump out the excess into the sink. Don't bend the cake pan. You want to keep it a circle, otherwise your cake's going to end up funny. Whoa. Yeah. Watch me. I got it. No, watch. Nice. You're bending your pants. Watch. Tapping. Oh. Tapping and turning. A little That's plenty. Oh, yeah, I guess you do need a little on your sides there. And then you can go dump your flour in the sink, the extra flour. We'll just wipe this off because I'm going to the vacuum up the floor when you're done. Okay, I think we're done with the flour, so I'm going to put this away. Ew, it feels like there's chalk on my hand. Okay, so I'm going to fix your bin just a little because we want a nice circle of cake for both of them. Okay. So what's it say? Beet cake mix. Beet cake mix. All right, let's do that first. Beet cake. One thing at a time. Make sure you don't have any. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna open this. I hate when they're stuck in this. Why don't you go grab the, the scissors with the the protector on. Okay, give me that. Okay, I'm going to cut it. Carefully. That's good. I just dump it right in. And we're going to put all of it in. All of it. Put all of it in. Oh, careful, make sure it all gets in there. Go throw that away. Need to measure a cup for water. Okay, hold on. What's it say? Cake mix? Cake mix, water. So how much water? One cup of water. One cup of water. Go get one cup. Up to right here? Nope, that's one and a half. Look, where does it say right one there. cup? No, just one cup. Where do you one see cup, one right cup? Right there, yep. Make sure you set it on the counter to make sure you have just a cup. That's a okay. That's water. Pour it in. Okay, now let's read the next part. Don't mix yet. Didn't Boy, tell you to mix. What's it say? Beet. Cake mix, water, oil. How much oil? One to two cups. No. Two, one and a half cups. One half cup, so that's a half cup. So hold on before you go pouring. Where is a half cup at? No, that's one and a half. This is a half cup. You're gonna need to pour slowly, it comes out fast. 
There you go. Eggs. That's what Okay, take that out to the sink so we're not getting oil everywhere. Three eggs. Come here. Now we want to make sure before we just decide to go and put the eggs, because sometimes you'll have things in a recipe and you don't put them all in at once, so we better read. Three eggs. So cake, cake mix, water, water, oil, and eggs. Okay, eggs. So three eggs. So go ahead and take your first one and crack it. How'd you do? Good. Okay, here, put it here, put it here. I can wash that off. Wait, wait, hold on. Dump your egg in. Now do your next one. Good, you broke the egg. That's oh. okay, it doesn't matter if you broke the egg. Dump it, get your next egg. How'd you do? Good job. Here, here's some. Oh yeah, you've got the apron. Go ahead, dump it in. Mix. Okay, go throw them away. You could just take the thing with you. <laughs> I'm gonna put these in the thing. Okay. I'm gonna go read the yeah. I'm gonna go read the thing. Okay, so read from where it said eggs. Then what's it say? Angle with mixer on medium speed for two minutes, pour batter into pans. Okay, okay, so go get the hand mixer. You can bring it out here. Not yet, you gotta put your pieces in. Right here. All right, go ahead and plug in over there. All right. Will it reach? All right, it's preheated. All right, there you go. Alexa, set a timer for two minutes. Two minutes. Got it now. Okay. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and set that in there. Ready? Here, take these out, you can lick them. Oh. Go ahead, take those out, you can lick them. Are you excited? Can no. I lick that one instead? Yeah. By the way, you guys can do this at home. It's actually very simple. It is pretty simple, isn't it? I got chocolate I, on my shirt. I got chocolate in my lips. So what we're trying to do, Aspen, is keep each one even with chocolate. Can you put that down for a minute, please? Got more chocolate coming. It. I know you are. And that's good. That's what you're going to do. But I just need to come give you some more chocolate. Okay. That should be about good. So I'm going to show you a trick. I'm going to show you a trick. Watch. Chocolate everywhere. I got it. Okay, ready? Watch. Mine spread it all the way. Okay, try to keep it circle. Okay, that's good. Is our oven preheated yet? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna go stick these in the oven. Um, hey, can I see your arm? What? <laughs> Let me see your arm. Oh. <laughs> you might want to go. <laughs> Grab the wet washcloth that's on the sink. No, well, that's probably heating this baby. <laughs> All right, you did good. Okay, so T just looked out the door. It's snowing. It is. We're getting little flurries. Not much. I don't think it's going to do anything, like stick or anything. I am getting ready to make something called, um, I, I'm looking for the recipe, a champion roast beef sandwich. So I looked up some, like, 1950s sandwich recipes, and this was one I found. So... Pretty excited to try it. I'm gonna make this for lunch. I think we're gonna finish our school day. I don't know, can you see it? Snowing a bit harder than it was a little while ago, so I don't know, maybe it'll stick. Just said light flurries, but maybe we're gonna get more than light flurries. We'll have to see. Oh, Matt's truck needs washed, look at that. <laughs> I just got my a part of my thrift books order in and T's really excited because I ordered her something. Mr. Yeah, to go with her collection. Yep. And I got this for Aspen, number seven, in his Magic Tree House uh, book, Sunset of the Sabretooth. We have a couple others, um, but this was one, I think he has number six, and then he didn't have seven, and then he has number eight. So, <laughs> and then I got the kids, Shaw Silverstein's Everything on It. So once we finish 
Um, Paul Lawrence Dunbar will go into this one next because they love shell are Getting ready to frost Aspen cell cake. So this is what he's going to base it off of, is this, he colored a cell, and right now he's making frosting because we're gonna dye it. He's got his cake oh. cut so he can double layer it. Oh, and he's making the homemade frosting. Okay, so it's homemade and science all at the same time. You got it? There you go. Keep going till you get to the one cup line. Where's the one cup line? Okay, stop. So there's Aspen's cake. He did an animal cell and I think he did an awesome job. So I'm gonna show you what he went off of. This is his first time ever making a cake and frosting. So I think he did beautiful. This is what his cell was supposed to look like. And, and that's how he made it look. I think he did great.